Greetings. This is Ashley J. Waters speaking, introducing you to my investigation thesis project for Mrs. Pillivan's class. For this special conclusive project, I've decided to put my dedication, my concentration, and all of my energy into one particular case. Could it be controversial? Yes. Delicate? Of course. Tragic? Unfortunately. But overall, this is one of the most intriguing cases that Montreal and the surrounding area has heard of in the last couple of years with very little information available on it. On October 11th, 1990, Martin Calcott, Joshua Felwick, and Wendy Gribble disappeared at night under mysterious circumstances after they had left their homes without prior notice. The three of them, presumably at the same hour, headed to unknown whereabouts, never to be seen again. And despite this being a case with hardly any information on it and with so much room for conjecture and rumors, I, Ashley Waters, compromise to do everything that is in my power to unveil the secret behind their disappearances, one way or the other. Over and out. All right, first and I on the job. Oh, the office is a mess, but it feels like a nice place to work. Oh, someone left a message, nice. Uh, hello? Hello, hello. Hey, how's my favorite security guard doing, huh? <laughs> so, are you excited for your first day, Ashley? Not if you are. <laughs> Just kidding. You know, I feel quite enthusiastic about you working here, so, uh, uh I'll be recording some tips for you, you know, to help you get through your first week. And, uh, well, some company wouldn't be so bad, right? I'll tell you, it gets a little stressful. But, hey, you'll do fine, I promise. So, uh, first of all, the security crew is provided with a CCTV monitor that allows you to watch every single room in the location through the cameras, except for those in restricted areas like the lobby or maintenance rooms. You can monitor the whole location without leaving your office. Yeah, cool, right? Lucky you, you know, you won't have to wander around in the middle of the dark with a flashlight. Speaking of which, each camera has a flashlight integrated. We just can't keep the place's lights on all night because that would be a huge waste of power, so, uh, use your flashlight to have a clear view, but always be responsible and do not fool around with it, please. It can run out of battery. Uh, by the way, you also have this button in your CCTV panel. By pressing it, you can toggle the vent cams. I'm sure you're probably thinking it's weird that the air ducts have cameras inside. Well, uh, let's just say we had a situation, and, uh, <clears throat> well, we had to install a couple of cameras in there. Uh, listen, there's this other guard who takes the day shift. His name is Michael. You probably encountered him before starting your shift. Well, he used to work during the night before, but he complained about, uh, conditions, and, uh, he's not really the first one. There was this other girl, too, but she chose to quit because one of the animatronics got into the office during her shift and tried to attack her. She left the building with a broken leg. We were really lucky she didn't sue us. Yeah, uh, but... Hey, I'm not trying to scare you or anything, but Michael said those machines have been a little twitchy lately. We moved him Every weekend, there's no reason for them to behave that way. So, I think the problem is that the animatronics are only programmed to work during the day and interact normally with the people and the children. And when the night falls and everyone has left, they think whoever is still inside the building must be an intruder. So they use their sensitivity to sound to try to locate you until they get into your office. I, I don't know, that's the best that comes to my mind. 
we had to come up with a quick solution, and we installed some speakers around the location and the ventilations. You know, just push the audio button in a different room if one of them is getting close to your office, okay? That will do for now. Oh, gotta go, sweetheart. Take care. By the way, I packed your pills in your bag, just in case you start feeling anxiety, but remember, no more than three pills, okay? Good. I'll pick you up when your shift is over. Remember? 7 a.m. All right. Love you. Bye-bye. What did she just say about the animatronics? <sighs> All right, I've heard this one before. I guess it's a practical joke. <laughs> All right, <sighs> let's get serious. Sounds like my job isn't too hard, I hope. Oh, I'm following my 
First night done. And that was surreal. Not positively surreal.
second night, and now I am not so excited anymore.